what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel and welcome to part 77 of my full playthrough of Batman Arkham Knight on the PlayStation 4 we are just about wrapping up this playthrough we have a few things left to do so we have two more Riddler trophies to find which are both in this room actually one of them's in this room and one of them's at the orphanage then once we do that we just gotta defeat Riddler and save Catwoman and then the only thing to do after that is defeat Scarecrow so we're pretty close so um, yeah we'll get the Riddler trophy here and then we'll head over to the orphanage to deal with Riddler uh, as you can see I'm wearing the Christian Bale Batman suit from the Dark Knight trilogy that I mean the original one was called Batman Begins, I think that released in like 2006 or something, and then The Dark Knight was 2008, but yeah, this, it kind of looks like Christian Bale too, but no, this is, this is still, you know, Kevin Conroy's Batman, but it's just, you know, his outfit, so let's see, where is that Riddler trophy, it's in the right hand corner, this way? Remember, a couple parts ago, I tried to get this Riddler trophy, and I failed epically at trying to get it, because I couldn't figure out the puzzle. So now we're going to figure it out. Okay, it's in this room. So as you can see, this is a very small space, but you have two, check, or two question marks here. So two electric balls are going to come out of the top, and they're going to go through each of these things. Actually, no, they come out of the bottom. And they have to get up to the top. But you have to rotate both of these things at the same time. And it's pretty difficult. So I'm going to try to do it. Let's see if I can climb over this counter. It's gotta be, i got to be far enough away where I can see both of them. But this is such a small room. Can I be back? Oh, I can be... Oh... Hold on, I have to be back here. Alright, so remember you want the shock charge. Oh, hold on, can I get on this bench? Okay, so I can see both things. So, let's move this. That'll get that going. Move that. Okay, now you want to click R2 to start the thing. And keep an eye on the balls. You seem it... to have failed, detective. <laughs> failed, detective. Huh? Oh, oh, wait, huh? Hmm. Hold on. Try again. the pattern we've got to do so the pattern is these both need to be like this that's going to go there so then you click that to go that over there and then this has to go over there so you have to click that three times that goes there that's once twice to go down there that'll move that back over so you have to hit that again and then oh boy so i guess it would go right, left, right, left, right, left, hmm, to get that in there, oh, Oh, I did it too soon. I did it too soon. I was actually pretty close that time. Okay. Try one more time. <laughs> no, what are you doing, Batman? Oh, I had it. 
I had it. That's the closest I've gotten. Alright. Come on. This is like the rolling ballroom of this game, pretty much. That one. Oh, come on. Yeah, so you probably don't know what I'm talking about when I say the rolling ballroom. So, back in my playthrough of SpongeBob Bout for Bikini Bottom on the PlayStation 2, which is the first Let's Play I ever did on this channel back in 2013, there's this part in the Mermelair called the rolling ball area. And that video has over 8,000 views on my channel, which for my small channel is pretty good to have 8,000 views. And this is pretty much the rolling ball area of this game, in my opinion. This is, in my opinion, probably the hardest Riddler trophy. Because you've got to do two different things at the same time. And, you, you know, you get sidetracked looking at the one ball, and so you miss the other one. And the funny thing is, these are electric balls. Which is exactly like the rolling ball area where you're moving a ball around the court. So how the rolling ballroom worked is there was this big uh, like metal ball that would drop out of this top area. And it would roll across this track and you had to move different things along as it was going so that it would keep going to its target. And that's exactly what this is. But this one has two electric balls. So this, in my opinion, is even more difficult. Alright, let's get this done. The first time I did this, a couple parts ago, I didn't know what I was doing. But I'm getting a lot closer now. i just got to get the last part. That goes there. Oh, did it too soon. Did it too soon. Gotta wait to see it in the thing. It's so hard to see it, though. Go there. Go there. Go there. Go there. Go there. Oh, come on. Barnacles, as SpongeBob would say. Come on, thing. This is the last Riddler trophy. Technically. Did it! Aha! <laughs> yes! Success! Alright, back to the elevator. Where's the elevator? Is it below me? Where are you, elevator? There it is. Gotta go back up to the orphanage. I'm coming for you, Catwoman. There's one Riddler trophy left. Look at him. Look at Christian Bale. <laughs> this is cartoon Christian Bale. <laughs> it looks exactly like his suit, too. That's the weird thing. This is my city. Nobody messes with God. He had such a deep voice in those movies for no reason. I mean, Mark, or not Mark Hamill, Kevin Conroy does a perfect Batman voice because his Batman voice and his Bruce Wayne voice are only slightly different. But Christian Bale, like when he would talk as Bruce, he talked normal. But when he talked as Batman, for some reason, it just sounded like he'd been smoking cigarettes for his entire life. Like, dude. We get it. You're Batman. You don't need a sound so deep in your voice. 
so weird. Anyway, right now it's pointing us towards the main objective at the movie studio. That's not where we want to go. We want to go here. To Catwoman. Right, yeah, this is very similar to Christian Bale. He was able to glide like this, too. Just, you know, not to the same extent. So has the bat taken care of these Arkham Knight punks yet? Has Batman taken care of the Arkham Knight punks? Yes, I have. The only person left is Scarecrow. Here, we found the last Rilla trophy. Well, second to last Rilla trophy. The last one's in this room. Can you defeat no a mind such as mine? Yes, yes, I can. Okay, so where is it in this room? It looks like it's towards the back left corner. Alright. Sounds good. Where's... Oh, there she is. Catwoman? Uh, I have to find something real quick. Is it in the room or outside the room? It looks like it's outside the room. How have you been? Perfect. Eddie hasn't said a word since you left that last course. <laughs> Do you ever rub people the right way? They never ask nicely. Alright, Catwoman. The final exam is this way, but we have to find the riddle first. It should be right near the fire. Wait, huh? Where am I? Can I see inside the building? How come I can't see inside the building? We're looking for like some kind of collar, but maybe it's in the final exam room. <laughs> idiot. Nah, I won't be an idiot in a second. I mean, if I'm looking at it, it's back left corner of the building, which is right here, but maybe it's in the room. Magnets. Hmm. Look at this place. What is Riddler doing? Look at all these numbers on the ground. Riddler's been busy. This guy's a psycho. Hydraulics. No, Dark Knight. You're way off the mark. Off the mark. Way off the mark. Maybe it's got to be in the room. It's got to be in the room. Has to be. This is it. One last hoop to jump through, then I'm free to rob Gotham blind. I mean, you know, make sure everyone got out. I'll check the art galleries first. There's some teddy bears. Gotta be somewhere. Is that her collar in there? Maybe. Alright, anyway, I guess in we go. Alright. 
Meet the Riddle Square. A puzzle which draws influence from both late 20th century puzzle cubes and mid 15th century torture devices. Torture devices. If Eddie wanted us to play a game of life-size chess, he could have left us more pieces. I don't think that was the idea. This looks like it could be the back right corner of the building. Oh, there's something we gotta hack here. Hold on. Where's my hacking device? It's probably master plan. Yep. Master plan. Aha! This is it. There it is. You solved them all. Well, well, well. What a smart little detective you turned out to be. Turned out to be. Alright, we found it. Okay. My one mistake has always been very slightly overestimating just how stupid you are. Overestimating, come back to the orphanage, detective. And I'll deconstruct you like a flimsy philosophical position. Right, let's see what we got here. There's a bunch of question marks on the ground, and there looks to be like a laser, but there's another laser that's not activated. And there's a bunch of electrical charge things, some saw blades, and a hole in the floor. Oh, good. He doesn't want us to go in. Guess I'll be heading home then, Eddie? There'll be a way in. Yeah, there will be. I just gotta figure it out. Um... There's a giant key. Key. Hmm. Well, let's activate some of these things and see what they do. So that the laser goes into the floor? Okay, hold on. You can't go through it, children. And no, you cannot tunnel under it either. Okay. This is a Chinese puzzle. See if we can find a way in for her. How do I change characters? There we go. Let's see. Let's see if she can find a way in. Oh, maybe. She can crawl up here. Yeah, alright. We're in. So she has to stop some of these from moving. Well, she's got the collar on. Which one do we need to stop from moving? Okay, let's look at the chart. Magnets. Move in that direction. Question mark. Question mark. this thing. Oh, maybe 
maybe that upper corner is where we have to start. Back to Batman. Oh, those are the two holes. Oh, yeah, okay. So those are the two holes. And then the two question marks are three down from that hole and three down and one across from that hole so that's going to move over oh so the holes have to be the holes have to be on the question marks so that's going to move down. That hole's going to move down. Three. And right now it's moved down two. Question mark, three down there, that's the hole. And then where's the other one? It's all the way to the bottom right, which is where it is. Hmm. Switch back to Catwoman. So then what's this laser for? How do I move the laser? I knew what I was doing here. What is this? Spinning cycle. I knew what this meant. Order is everything. Now that laser's 
over nothing. Oh, it's still over a question mark. Now we gotta get the laser to there. Oh, and now there's two lasers. Okay. Um, <laughs> Batman, you're up. Let's move that down. You will not win this. Nope. Oh, that's all I wanna do. Ah, 
Ha! Ha! Riddler, you suck. You suck. You're too stupid for me. It's done. Keys by the entrance. Let's go. <sighs> you smooth talker, you. Give me a second to compose myself. Keys by the entrance. Oh, here. Yeah. Oh, entrance, right, right, right. Back out the other door. Let's go, Catwoman. Yep, here it is. We need Catwoman's ability. She can just claw it. Would you do the honors? Or Batman will do it. Alright, that works. <laughs> the final key. Collar gone. Nice. Catwoman is saved. You know what the worst thing about and this And it only was? took me like that ten minutes cheap. to figure out how to do that. <laughs> well, Hanson, I hadn't done it in a long for? time, so you know, I figured it out. Wait, I still got more to do? What more is there to do? Alright. What do we got? What do you got, Riddler? What's left? Apparently I got two more tasks. I found all your Riddler trophies. I beat all so your exams. So is it exams. just Central Gotham that's evacuated? Or are the mansions empty too? Yeah, well, Scarecrow threatened the entire city, Selina. And it's such a tragedy. You go save the day and I'll make sure Bruce Wayne locked his doors. Good luck with that. Yeah, I definitely locked my doors. Okay, so what? Riddler, where are you? Is he gonna be on this big screen here? But we're not done with you yet, buddy. There's still more to do. If you look at here. Defeat Riddler and rescue Catwoman. I have all the Riddler trophies, so what's the deal? Where's the big finale? Interesting. Well, he did say to return to the orphanage. Maybe I gotta go back outside and come back in. Or not. Oh, crap. Probably should have saved this for the next part. If I had known that was going to happen, I probably would have. Oh, well, um, that's going to be quite the cliffhanger to end on for this part. <laughs> If I had known that was going to happen, I would have saved it for the next part. I am going to save it for the next part regardless, but I probably would have saved the cutscene for the next part. Oh, but that's a classic cliffhanger. What will happen to Batman and Catwoman in the next video? Will Riddler prevail and kill both of them? Or will Batman and Catwoman prevail and defeat him once and for all? Find out in part 78 of my playthrough of Batman Arkham Knight. <laughs> but uh, I'd say we did pretty well in this part. We found that one Riddler trophy that had been giving me trouble previously. Finally did that. We found the last Riddler trophy in the orphanage. Once I figured out where it was, it was behind the door the whole time. And then we solved that one final exam Riddler puzzle which was way harder than I thought, but I figured it out. I had to move the things to get to the laser, and I was like trying to figure it out, but ugh, whatever. So in the next part, we'll defeat Riddler, and then the part after that, we'll go to the studio to deal with Scarecrow. So tune in next time.
In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you're new by hitting the subscribe button. I'm currently at 370 subscribers, so we're gaining ground. And once you subscribe, click that notification bell, set it to all notifications on so you don't miss any of my videos, whether it's in my Let's Plays and Walkthrough series. Uh, my GTA 5 online contact mission series or my Call of Duty free for alls and I'll catch you in the next video so I'll see you all later